friends, I'm Aura. If this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also like the video. Try to get on as many home pages as possible. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and with all y'all's help, I can get there. I see all the new subscribers. Hello, welcome. It's so great to have you. This is me giving you a virtual hug. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. But today I kind of just wanted to give my thoughts on the Never Ever Met. I'm not going to like recap the episode or necessarily review it. I just kind of want to, or maybe it is a review because I'm sharing my thoughts on it. But it's just kind of, I just kind of want to talk about, I guess, the concept of the show. First off, my qualms with the show and shows like these, I never understand why it takes a TV show for people, adults, big grown adults, to want to meet the person that they've been conversing with online, that they've built a connection with online for a pretty decent amount of time. Like, I feel like as a human being, when you have feelings for someone you kind of you want to be around that person you don't want to just talk to them online I don't know it's it, it always it just throws me off because why haven't you made the effort to see this person touch this person be around this person in real life ever why I mean I don't know, it, it must be the check it's got to be the check so there are seven couples on this show that have been dating for a substantial amount of time. The couple that's been dating for the shortest amount of time is Sandia and Chris. They're both Haitian. They've been dating for three months and it's a joke. This is a joke. It's got to be a joke because he started off by love bombing her with the, the helicopter ride and everything. Offered them to go back to the house and him say, we're not in a relationship. I talk to a lot of women. I can get whoever I want. I'll give them the best three days of their life and then I never see him again. Is this what you want, Sandia? Because if I were you, sis, he would never see me again. I would have left and that would have been the end of it done nothing about that is cute nothing and I don't know what it is what it is that he feels that he needs to prove but we, we ain't feeling you sir not really and your swag is interesting I'm gonna just leave it at that Sienna and Brendan have been dating for 10 months and I feel like they are the couple that I have the most hope in. I felt like their initial interaction was pretty good. I think that they have chemistry and I think that they will continue this off the show. I mean, they've been doing it for 10 months online. The only thing that kind of like made my antennas go room is that Brendan said that the reason that they haven't met in person or anything is because he has small children so I don't know his situation right but him putting the fact that they've never met each other in person on his children it just seemed a little bit like a cop out to me because he I mean and it's none of our business it, it, it really isn't any of our business but he never stated you know I have small children and I am the sole, I have sole custody. They don't have a mother. I don't have anyone to watch my kids. He didn't say that at all. And I feel like if that's the case, he didn't necessarily have to go into detail, but he probably would have mentioned that or something along those lines. I don't know. So Millie and Greg have been dating for three years and these two live in the same city. The same city. Granted, I've never been to LA. I don't know how big it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's big. I'm pretty sure, but 
three years three years y'all just take a moment and think about three years think about the last three years of your life that's a long time so for you to be in the same city as the person that you have been dating for three years and have never met them seen them in person in real life ever that's wild to me my brain can't fathom that it, it doesn't compute in my brain y'all in the same city most of these couples don't live in the same I think that they are the only couple that doesn't live or they're the only couple that lives in the same city in the same state as each other and y'all haven't met in person something about that is really fishy to me it doesn't make sense but they seem to have chemistry as well I have hope in them I think that they will do the distance or I think that they will go the distance and I mean time will tell we'll have to see and y'all probably gonna get mad at me for this some people may get mad at me for this but I'm gonna say it anyway Greg gives me black guy that doesn't date black women so I was refreshed <laughs> I was very refreshed to see that you know this is the person that he has been giving his time to for three years I was very refreshed and to anybody that may feel like oh, she's so out of bounds for saying that you were thinking it too we have diamond and aaron h they've been dating for five years they're the more mature couple out of the bunch and does does um does aaron h not give y'all cat daddy vibes or or is it just me he's giving me full on cat daddy the big situation with them was that you know they had been dating for a period of time and Aaron H posted an engagement ring on Facebook while he was still dating Diamond and sis was like what's going on here but at the same time what did you expect five years and y'all never seen each other been in the same room nothing it was messy of Aaron. It was very messy on Aaron's part, for sure. I think he could have at least had a conversation with Diamond before he posted the picture. But, again, y'all haven't seen each other in years. And you're supposedly dating. There's no way that all these couples have been exclusive this whole time. I feel like these two will make it, though, because they were able to, you know, hash that out get over it move on but because of where they are in life I feel like both of them know what they want they've gotten this opportunity and they both seem to be very pleased with what they see I mean we, we definitely have to continue to watch them and see where they go as far as this process is concerned but I feel like at this point in their lives they know what they want and they want each other so I really don't have any doubts that they will continue this outside of this show so yeah we have Joanna and Aaron J who have been dating for nine months and I'm not a fan of Joanna y'all I'm not a fan she's gonna be the one this season that's probably gonna really like irk our nerves the whole time on her date with Aaron, I felt like she was hypercritical. She was mean. The things she said in her confessional about him, it was just like, girl, you were the one that decided to talk to this man for nine months. You, you supposedly want him. So what's what's all this? And I'm about to get real, 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 real honest with this. Again, some of y'all probably gonna get mad at me. But Joanna is the black woman that black men talk about when they give their reason as to why they don't date black women. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
not sorry. She is that. She made fun of this man. His sweat. He. She made fun of the way he walked up to her. He walked up to her normally. I saw nothing wrong with the way he walked up to her. He. She made fun of the fact that he couldn't open wine. She was hypercritical over the fact they had a charcuterie date type thing because he doesn't drink. He was doing that for you. He wanted to impress you. And I felt like she she was upset because he was trying to impress her. But this is y'all's first time meeting in person. Why would he not want to impress you? It was very weird. It was weird. I didn't like it. I was offended for Aaron after seeing that. And I don't know where they're going to go from here. I, I really don't know. Especially, like, if he's watching the show now, I don't know the status of them at this current moment. But I'm sure he's offended by what he's seen and he doesn't like it. So, Shay and Josh. <sighs> Shay and Josh. Um... They've been talking for 12 years. 12 years. Twelve years ago, I was fresh out of high school. High school. Twelve years ago, I was still a teenager. That's how long these two have been talking. And they're my age. So they were teenagers back then too. 12 years. I need somebody to make this make sense. I don't even think that's possible. There's no way anyone could make this make sense for me. How you talk to someone so-called date someone for 12 years and never see them, never touch them, never breathe the same air as them. Some people have gotten married, divorced, married, had kids, divorced, and remarried in that span of time. And these two haven't even met. I can't fathom it. I won't. I won't fathom it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But Shay has, um, not Shay, but Josh has two kids. He has a 13 year old and a three year old. So obviously we could see what Josh has been doing with his time while dating Shay and never met her, seen her nothing. He's been dating some other people. <laughs> He's been actually doing what he wanted to do. Seems like. But from what I gathered from Shay, she hasn't been doing that. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. After being around each other for the first time and going on their date and stuff, they are very comfortable with each other and I'm thinking you know yeah you should be y'all should be comfortable with each other y'all have been talking for over a decade a decade that's how much time is going on a decade I'm sorry I just I can't I, I can't it I want to say this, Shay, I love you. You might end up being my favorite on the show. I don't know. But that wig and that dress you had on, 
burn those don't don't put those back on ever again so y'all know I say the best for last on purpose right Alexis and Dominique they've been dating for six months the way that they carried themselves on this first episode I am highly disappointed. Highly. They were full blown fighting by the end of this episode. They were fighting. It wasn't like play, fight, ooh. Mm. That was fighting that they were doing. And I can't believe, and I don't understand why own let that proceed and go on as long as it did with no producer stepping in to break that up. I was completely and totally appalled at this behavior. If a man did that to me, now I, I will say, Alexis was throwing fists. She was fighting. She was hitting him in all in his face and all that. And I am a believer that if you hit a man in his face, you're punching him and hitting him and all that stuff. I think that you should be prepared. Get yourself prepared. Get yourself ready to get hit back. Just saying, you can't just be hitting people in their face and think that nothing's going to happen. But I was completely and totally embarrassed for the two of them. The both of them have kids. I don't know the ages, but one day they're going to be able to see this. Is this something that you want your kids to see? You fighting a man, fighting a woman in the kitchen over something silly. I myself am not a fighter unless I have to be. But if a man were to do that to me, like yoke me up and have me in a headlock like this, I would be afraid. If, if I was Alexis in this situation, I would have been afraid. I would have been that scene in Medea's Happy Family Reunion where old girl finally packed up her bags and left the house. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? At the end of the movie, she threw the grits on him. That movie. I would have been like that. Packing up my stuff in the middle of the night and booking my flight or just on the first thing smoking out of there because mm -mm, I would have been afraid. I was watching Tammy Talks uh, review on this first episode and she said if he would do all that that he was doing on this episode that we saw he will fight you like he will mess you up. I 100% agree with that. He did that to you on TV. What is he going to do when the cameras are down? And doesn't he have daughters? Not appropriate whatsoever. Whatsoever. And I've been seeing that he's been like leaving comments on different content creators videos, basically trying to justify his behavior and kind of like make himself look better in this situation but everybody that watched this episode and reviewed it on YouTube has eyes we all have eyes and we saw what went down and that was the edited version we don't know everything that went down that was the edited version. So there could have possibly have been more to the situation than that. And also, Dominique is kind of like, aside from him posting or commenting on other YouTube um, YouTubers videos and stuff, he kind of like ruined the show for me because he kind of posted like a spoiler. Apparently, him and Alexis are no longer gonna be on the show. He also stated 
that the two of them were just friends. They've been friends for a long time and they decided to come onto the show just to be on TV and get a bag, basically. And that ruined the show for me. Just ruined it. I am most likely going to continue to watch the show. Am I going to review it? I don't know. Because that, that really ruined it for me. I know it's going to happen now. And I don't know. I feel like I can't watch this, watch this show with the same experience that I felt that I was going to have. And that's all thanks to you, Dominique. Thanks a lot. But I would love to know what y'all thought about the show. Leave your comments down below. Like the video. And don't forget to subscribe on the road to a thousand subscribers, y'all. We are getting super close. But thank you so much for watching. And until my next video. Bye.